All right, we'll jump right into today. We have a lot to cover. If this is your first time joining Webinar Wednesdays, welcome. My name is Jason, one of the co-founders here at Brilliant Directories, and we're lucky to have Patrick and Gabe joining us in the webinar today. Patrick is the uh, brand manager and strategist here at Brilliant Directories, and Gabe is awesome at uh, providing customer delight and support. So we have them both in the webinar today. Thanks for joining us, guys. Always great to be here. Thanks, Jason. Hi there, everybody. Happy to be here. And I always recommend joining our free LinkedIn marketing uh, network. Uh, you can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash LinkedIn. If we're unable to get to your questions in the webinar, it's a great place to carry and continue the conversation. You can contribute to discussions, start your own discussions, ask questions from fellow directory owners uh, about marketing strategy and how to best utilize your uh, Brilliant Directories website. So you can go to brilliantdirectories.com forward slash LinkedIn. And as long as you're logged into your LinkedIn account, you should have no problem joining that group. And for the first timers, thank you for joining us. We do webinar Wednesdays about every uh, two weeks. And the goal here is to help you get the most out of your Brilliant Directories website. You can ask any question from setting up your website, marketing your website, how to uh, acquire members, how to generate revenue, um, all questions are fair game, and we'll do our best to answer them for you. Um, if we don't know the answer, we might provide you a resource where you probably could find the answer for uh, your question. But we have not only answered a lot of questions, but a lot of the feedback that we've received through Webinar Wednesdays have actually helped us um, add new features into the Brilliant Directories platform. So it really is a two-way street. Uh, we get a lot out of the types of questions and requests you have in Webinar Wednesdays, uh, and we've also answered thousands of questions. So it's really a win-win-win situation for everyone here. Last week, and we're actually going to run this contest again because it was so good and, and I really love it, um, we have some design champions. We asked you to share the custom color design that you created for your website and Jeff Finley and James Douglas, if you guys are in the webinar, uh, we've already added $200 of credits to your Brilliant Directories account. And to show everyone what we're referring to here, um, you guys may be familiar with the design settings in your admin uh, where you can customize um, lots of different aspects of your site from the footer to the header. And we do have pre-made color sets, which are a great starting point. Um, and when you customize it, um, you're basically creating your own color set. And we've turned two new ones this week. We did about four last week, last webinar. So we have dark raspberry. That's uh, courtesy of James Douglas. And it looks a little something like this. You got a little raspberry, a little dark. So we came up with a lot of berry colors here. And really like Jeff's here, Jeff's in Australia. Um, we call this a uh, spacey orange. That was a contribution of Pat for the naming on this one. And it does look a little spacey with the purple and it's orange. And it's, these are really good color sets uh, uh, that we thought were very unique. These are the ones that were um, added the previous webinar, Cool Waves, Midnight Beach, Playground, and I really like Peaceful Purple. So. Um, you guys got $200 of uh, BD credits added to your accounts. We'll send you uh, an email just to confirm that. You can use that towards new websites, add-ons, the VIP add-ons club, uh, training sessions, and so on. Um, and if you haven't shared your site yet, we're going to run the contest. Uh, I think this will be the last time we do this one uh, where you can share your site's design. Uh, we're looking for unique color designs. Um, so you can email a link of your site to design at brilliantdirectories.com. Uh, we'll select the winning designs and add them to our pre-made color sets. You don't have to worry about the content of your site. We're not, uh, it's not about your industry or, or um, you know, the, the type of site that you are. We're only interested in the colors of your site. Uh, so you don't have anything to worry there. And the winners uh, will win $200 in credits that you can apply to new purchases. So feel free to email design at brilliantdirectories.com just include a link to your website and we'll announce the winners in the next webinar. All right, and in the last webinar, uh, we did have an announcement. I did have an injury. I 
I tore a ligament in my left ankle playing tennis, and that caused me to uh, fall on my elbow, and I also fractured uh, in my forearm, a uh, hairline fracture, thankfully, but multiple uh, in my right forearm. Uh, but I am getting better. I've been able to work a lot more the last two weeks. Um, so very happy about that. And we did a fun promotion. This was really cool because we actually created the promotion uh, on the webinar. Uh, to, ce to celebrate the recovery, uh, we're going to have a promo code Happy Elbow, but it's only for the first five people who use it to get 75% off anything on the Brilliant Directory's website. So let's go ahead and create that promo code together. And this is using the Easy Coupon Codes add-on. Um, we're going to create a coupon code here. It's going to be happy elbow and it's a percent discount of 75% and this is the important part is the maximum uses we're going to set it to five and we'll save that I expect this last webinar was it was done uh, before the webinar was over uh, and we'll save that coupon code and now it's out there for you guys to use. So you can use it on a new sites, VIP add-ons club, whatever you want, but it's only for the first five orders. So uh, I'm getting better. We can all celebrate. All right. And last, in last webinar, we had Patrick's tip of the week. Um, this is a more general tip. Patrick and I actually collaborated on this uh, together, and we wanted to cover why it's important that your website appears like a credible authority for the industry or the space uh, that you're serving, even if you're just starting out. Because this is one of the biggest hurdles is you have an idea, but you're starting with a blank slate. So we wanted to give you some tips and ideas of types of content you can add to your site so that it can appear credible, even if you're just starting out. Pat, you want to uh, chime in here about just some general ideas about what what helps make a site look more credible? Yeah, absolutely, Jason. What's important in, in the end is for when the website visitor, when they visit your homepage for the first time, do they understand what your website is about? Do they understand the messaging that you have on there so that they can say, yes, this is for me, or I might stick around, I might find some interesting stuff on this website. Uh, and if And when they do click, in different sections, will they see more than one post or two posts and so forth? So just make, making sure that your website looks like it's been around, even though you may have just recently started your particular venture. And, and the flip side of that is, how do you appear less credible? Yeah, <laughs> of course, the having a, a coming soon page I know a lot of people love their coming soon pages uh, because they want to collect emails. Uh, but the, the sooner, it, as, as you know, there's a bit of a, a sandbox or a parking lot for Google and SEO. So the sooner you go live with your domain, the sooner you start getting SEO value. Um, so this, uh, so I, I actually recommend not going with a coming soon page and connecting your domain as soon as you can, unless, of course, you're going from a, an older technology and upgrading to Brilliant Directories. I would understand in that particular situation, you wanting to wait until the site is ready to, to, to move over to the new site. Um, having some poor uh, logos and images, of course, uh, and having too much information. I, I see a lot of people launching their sites and streaming events and coupons and classifieds and products and jobs and each streaming widget has two or three different posts inside of it but it's too much information to digest and it's too hard for the website visitor to understand what is this website about, why do I need to stay here, what's the benefit of browsing. Right, and also with too much information, you could just there's no clear path or, or call to action, and uh, your website just comes off as disjointed, um, and therefore you can lack and lose some credibility because of that. But that's okay. Um, this might be your first time making a website like this, so it's not your fault. And one of the common misconceptions is that you know you need to have thousands of members, and I've seen people get buy data lists of businesses, and it's, it's not necessarily a bad idea, but they'll buy lists of, of millions of business listings, and then they'll just throw them into the site. Um, that's not necessarily good for Google, or and it might not necessarily make the best experience 
for your members. Um, you know, Pat really believes that it's better to have a few good, genuine members added to the site and some good, meaningful content uh, rather than thousands of erroneous pages. So in, in this case, it would be quality over quantity um, is, is the theory. And it's, it's true. If the, the better quality of the content, you know, visitors are savvy these days. People who are surfing the net, they, they go to a lot of websites. And in a few seconds, they're quick to dismiss a website that just doesn't look like it has what they need. Um, and, and that could a lot of times be because it's poor quality content, even though you have a lot of quantity of it, a lot, a lot of it. So how do you add credible content if you don't have any members to contribute content or uh, you're just starting out? The simple answer is you can add the content yourself. The problem though is most of us are not editors, we're not blog writers, uh, and coming up with content is, is not only time consuming, um, it's, it's an art and there's a skill to writing. People have made or have professions just around writing content. So um, as a website owner, you know, you're here to either generate revenue um, or serve your industry with good resources. Um, but you might not have uh, the, your own resources and ability and finances to hire blog writers and content writers. So we're going to show you a few simple ways to kind of think outside the box uh, and find ways to add good quality content to your site. Um, and Pat, you want to, since this goes with that first first slide in this section, you want to also cover this one here. What we want to do here is we want to put ourselves in the shoes of our website visitors. So we're going to ask ourselves honest questions and say, if I was the website visitor, what type of content would be engaging to me? Uh, how can I structure that particular content? How can I have messaging that convinces them that, hey, if you are this person, if you are this persona, you have found a place that will provide you with quality content and a quality experience. Um, and, and we're going to do an, ex an exercise where we're going to look at uh, some of your home pages and we're going to analyze it together. And Jason and I are going to try to help you come up with some ideas on some content strategies that you can utilize for your particular industry. Um, and, and hopefully we'll be able to help you guys out. But to get started, um, I, was, I was thinking perhaps we can go to one of my websites and uh, Jason can, can ask me some questions in terms of some, some tricks that I leverage for my own, for my own businesses. Absolutely. And also, by the way, this, this goes back to a survey we did, I think, two webinars ago, right before I hurt my um, elbow. Um, the topic that was voted for was how to keep web visitors from leaving your website. And having a credible website directly ties uh, into that idea of how to, how to keep visitors from leaving your website and having them click into your website. Um, and this is one of Pat's websites here, Costa Rica uh, Tessel, and it's not necessarily a formal directory um, like to search for lawyers or dentists or things like that, but your site, even if it's a directory, doesn't need to come across like that. It could come across as um, more of a resource and the directory could be you know, the second, the second priority of what your site's about. So Pat, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're actually looking at on this page and why it's important. Sure thing. So you can always get buried with content ideas. A lot of people think I need to write hundreds and hundreds of blog articles. Um, I disagree with that, especially as you're getting started. What you need to do is you need to write five great articles uh, and you really need to capture the attention of the people on your website. So uh, when we're go looking at other websites, uh, I'd love to throw some article ideas that would captivate a website visitor and you could perhaps capture an email somewhere down, down the line. Uh, so we'll definitely do that. So in this instance, uh, my persona, the website visitor, is somebody that is thinking about becoming an English teacher and they would travel to Costa Rica to become uh, certified. So it's an accredited TEFL course. So I ask myself, what articles can I write? If I am somebody that's never really looked into it and I'm just somewhat interested in the topic, 
what type of content can I write? So top 10 reasons they should get certified in Costa Rica. That's an article that would get a website visitor to want to engage. Um, how they find jobs, which is their primary concern when moving to Costa Rica. Will I get a job after I take the course? Um, offering a guide, the ultimate guide to teaching English. So that's a lead magnet where I take them to an article where they can give us their email address in order to download that guide. So as you see, it's just five simple uh, articles and we use the article slider. It's one of the brilliant directories add-ons that comes included in the add-ons club. I find it very, very helpful because I can isolate these five articles. So I can continue to add, our, our blog has over a hundred articles now, but these five articles stay isolated at the very top, which is what I want because festivals and fairs in Costa Rica, a weekend in Torchiguero and so so forth. Those articles, I don't want them at the top of my homepage because I have, like Jason said, seconds to engage them. If I make these the first articles they see, there's a high chance that they're going to leave my site. So again, the, the, the whole goal of this slider is to isolate them at the top. Um, a couple of other things that we did, um, and, and Jason calls it the, the fast food model, which is to have a quick scalable way of adding content to your website. If you go into the graduate stories section, um, we added both an alumni blogs section. And this is something that's very useful for all of the different industries. Um, even if you're in a, a medical field or a tourism field, all the different industries have a lot of blogs that have been posted by third parties. So what you can do is you can go ahead and collect all of those blogs and you leverage one of the features such as classifieds, such as coupons, and you repurpose it. So this here is the, uh, the classifieds feature. And all that we did is we repurposed it and we're just sharing blogs that already exist by other people. So if you're a, if you are a, um, a, a psychology a directory to find psychologists, you can find renowned psychologists from around the web. You can find their blogs and their articles, and you can go ahead and just share them with the public. So this is giving you page and pages of good content, and you're as associating yourself with people that are already big names in the industry. So, so that's a good little hack that you can use. So Pat, you basically just posted uh, made a resource of blogs that of people who blog about this topic. And, exactly. all, and all you did was write like a, a, a paragraph about why their blog is, is good, good for people here. That's it. I wrote a small summary about the blog and I redirect people to those other websites. So that's a good little, uh, let's say the fast food model. So if you click on read full blog, it should redirect you in another window to their particular blog and then people can read about their experience. And this is making me more credible because people see, oh wow, there's other people that are doing this. It's not necessarily a source from my website, but people wow. will appreciate. You know what else? And then if somebody favorites their blog, cause you have the add to favorites feature here, mm -hmm. uh, they, can, they can just favorite all their favorite blogs and come here and then go to the person's blog. Oh wow, I like, yeah, that's good. So people can bookmark their favorites. So you're creating a resource out of existing content, basically. Exactly. And this strategy that we're looking at right now, the one that I think applies to most directories is this exact idea, but videos. So what you do is if you're videos. a home, yes. if you're a home, if you're a home, a home renovation directory to find a construction expert, then what you do at that point is you go look at how to videos and your website visitors will appreciate the fact that you are going through the web, going on the internet, finding the best resources, and you have a collection of quality videos on your particular website. Um, again, that's a great hack to populate an area of your website and to give you that credibility that you're looking for out of the gates. Yep, you can, yeah. Well, there's the video feature that comes with every Brilliant Directories site, and you can create different categories and just start putting videos and add your own paragraph about why you think this video is, is awesome. It could be for anything. It could be for travel, cooking, um, lawyers, um, any industry really. And it's all existing content. So you, it's, and to, to me, that's what I love is let's say you have a restaurant directory to look for restaurants. I can use Gordon Ramsay's face legally right. and embed it on my website, write a description about his video YouTube gives you the privilege and the and the rights. It's legal to stream that particular video. It's it's part of their contracts. So you can literally have 
high-end brands like you're looking at here, Walt Disney movies, Pixar movies, on your website. And that just like the psychology of it, of somebody that's coming from the web on your website. If it's a restaurant directory and I see Gordon Ramsay on the homepage, I'm not gonna connect all the dots. I'm just gonna instantly assume that there's some sort of association and I'm immediately going to give you more credibility than I would if I didn't see that. So just pick quality, quality content, that's all. I like that. And then you had another strategy here, which was a, a little bit more engaging with your members and it was a Q&A for your existing members. That's correct. So instead of, so I'm leveraging the member article feature I'm, and I'm and I'm not necessarily allowing my members access to it, and I renamed it Q and A. So what we do is we you can email your members. So if it's dentists or veterinarians, you can email them a questionnaire. You can tell them that you'd like to feature them on your website. You can feature them on your homepage and give them this section. They'll they'll come, they'll fill out your interview, and then you go ahead and you just paste the answers of the particular interview that you had with them. So I find that another good strategy. Every single person on this webinar should be able to email their particular member base, ask them interesting questions for their particular industries, and go ahead and put that content on there. So again, your members are doing your job for you. It's one mass email, and you have an entire section filled with doctors or filled with dentists or filled with uh, attorneys or who, whatever industry it is you're in. And that gives you instant credibility as well because people see, wow, these, these veterinarians are contributing to this website. This must be a legit website. Look at this. This got 11 shares on Facebook, and it's probably because he felt he was featured on your site. He felt special, which he should, and he shared it with his friends and family, and that's advertising for your site. And all you did was send a questionnaire and then spin it into a, an article like this, which is basically just the questions. And exactly. We sent, him, we sent him a questionnaire. We asked them to send us three pictures so we can choose from the best pictures. We let them know in an email that they're featured on the website. And exactly what you said on our Facebook page, our social media page, the ones that have the most interactions are, are specifically these ones because their entire family and their friends and their, their peers, they get excited to, to read a featured article on an official website. So regardless of the industry you're in, that would be a good strategy to, to, to implement. One more thing, similar to the videos and linking to people who already blog on topics, is events in an industry. You can publish events that are going on in an industry and now your site is um, a beacon of information for events that are related to an industry. It could be finance, you know, whatever. It could be cooking, uh, it could be medical, um, whatever. So all you have to do is find events that are already going on and publish them uh, on your site. And again, events come with every Brilliant Directory's website. So uh, if you're a wine site, just publish all the wine events that are going on in the world. Um, and now, you know, it's you just write a, a few sentences or paragraphs about why you think that uh, that's important for your users. And it's a lot better than writing, you know, 2000 word articles um, when you don't have a, a content marketing team. And a website visitor, if you're honest with yourself, will much more appreciate you having a collection of useful uh, videos or interesting events that are within the industry that you're promoting than they would reading a 2,000 word article. That's right. Those those 2,000 word articles are great for search engine optimization, but if you're investing to bring traffic to your site and you're trying to convert visitors fast, um, you know, you could set up a bunch of content in the um, with the strategies Pat and I are sharing, and your site could look like it's been online for years uh, with one week's work. Um, so this is this is a way to jumpstart your site to appear credible while you're amp amping up other aspects um, of your of your site. So what we'd like to do is um, is to actually, if you want to share your site, um, I think we'll we'll check out about three people sites. Um, let's identify some easy quality content that you can add to your website right now. Uh, what you can do is you can chat your uh, website URL. I'm going to lower everyone's hands right now with the go to webinar raise your hand feature. If you want to raise your hand, we can take a look at your site, your homepage together and see if we can identify any types of content uh, that we can quickly add to your site that would help make it uh, appear more credible and more established. Gail? Yes. Hi, Gail. How are you? Good. How are you? Great, great. Where are you calling in from? Uh, St. Pete, St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, great. Um, so do you mind if we take a look at your site? 
No, go right ahead. It's amazing tales pet care locator.com. All right. So pet care locator. Find top rated pet care professionals. Oh, I'm already getting <laughs> really good ideas um, for this. Um, I'm going to go to YouTube real quick. Whoops. Let me go to YouTube. And so pet care related to what types of things? Grooming, mm -hmm. dog walking, so maybe pet training. Uh, uh, yep. So if we just search pet training on YouTube, you have obviously a, a billion video, <laughs> four million videos on just pet training. Um, what you could do is you can you can create like a, a drop down here that says video library. Do you mind if I go ahead and start doing some of this stuff? No, that's fine. Cause I actually know some trainers that I would want to use some of their videos. Right. Okay. Good. Good. Great. So I'm going to go to your menu manager and I'm going um, to the main menu. And I just want to make sure we're going to use the right link here. I'm going to add a, a, add a link. Um, I'm just going to say pet videos and you can create different categories. I just want to make sure that your videos, yep, that's it. And I'm going to save the changes. Now what you could do later is, is you could do, I'm just, I'm not going to do this training videos and then link it to, you can make a category of videos called training videos and link it to that. And then you can nest it as a drop down, and then you can have like, grooming videos because there's proper techniques for grooming different types of dogs that have different temperaments and cats and things like that. Um, so yeah. you could you could have a whole section on grooming and, and then just like some other things that might be um, relevant. Uh, but I'll get rid of these for now and we'll just stick with the pet videos and I'll save the changes. And I'm actually gonna move this. And instead of website blog, how about tips for pet owners or pet owner tips? So it's a little more. So it's a little and, and more. This is, and, and this is an example, Jason, of putting yourself in the shoes of your website visitor and asking yourself, if I, I have a pet and I'm on my own website, what wording would I be more likely to click on? Would I be more willing to click on website blog? Or right. like or, or grooming tips or pet care tips or tips and tricks what wording would you you yourself the honest what would you be more willing to click on whichever one would interest you the most is likely what would also interest your website visitors the most so this is a great tip that Jason's sharing for for everyone so actually I like that so uh, your, the theme of your site is actually pet care so I actually made it pet care videos and pet care tips you could put those in one drop down that's like pet care resources and then it's videos tips and, and so forth but let's add a video now um okay. do you have um an admin blog contributor account the person who publishes blog articles on your I'm, site i'm sorry oh, yeah. just before you get there because i had it and one thing i like is a lot of people use resources i find that that one doesn't convert very well but if you call it like pet care you or pet care, something along those lines, mm -hmm. and then it's the videos and it's the tips. Mm -hmm. That's will, that will engage people more because people people with resources. It's kind of, again, it's kind of a uh, a generic word. So so you may want to try that as well. It's kind of like going to school and learning all these things. Now you're really captivating your website visitor. I love Pet Care University. That sounds fun. Yeah. So what I did right now while while Pat was chatting there is I added uh, the the ability for the admin blog contributor to publish videos. So um, okay. let's add a new video, and I like this one. Let's so we'll just wait for this ad to finish. What I'm going to do is grab this link here. I'm going to grab the link right here and the title as well. And we're going to publish a new video, and how to how to train your puppy to stop biting. You can modify the title if you want, because um, it's just a post on your own site. And yeah. you can these are obviously not the right categories: action, comedy, drama. Um, I'm going to show you how you can actually 
change the categories right now because a lot of people ask, how do I change the categories for my coupons? How do I change the categories for my events? I think that would be high value here to share. So in order to change categories, and I think we're working on a better way to do this um, that might come out later this year, but for right now, you want to go to your form manager and we're going to look for the video form. So I'm just going to type video into the search here and you're going to do your feature video and click edit. And if you scroll down, you'll see there is a field for category and there's action drama. So I'm just going to do training um, and grooming for right now. Let me spell check that. And you can add more later, just separate them with commas. And uh, what's also cool is you can use control S to save your changes. So I'm going to refresh this page again and we should have the right categories or those two categories here. So we have training and grooming, and this will be um, how to train your puppy to stop biting you. YouTube link, you could put smart tags, which is just good for internal linking on your site. You could say biting, training, and dog. Um, some, we, we added a location field for events, but I, uh, for videos, but I don't think in this case uh, you'll need it. You, now, what's nice is if you wrote a couple par custom paragraphs about why you like this video and why you shared it. Um, okay. Just for the matter of saving time, I'm just going to take the description uh, from here. Um, obviously, there's a lot of links here. I'm just going to... And, and just marketing 101, right? Uh, what you can do, so if you write a nice description of, of this person's video and you actually comment on their YouTube page and you tell people I love your video so much I highlighted it on my website and you give a li link to your website you're gonna have yeah. his fans going to your website checking it out and you may have him reach out to you and say thank you and maybe he's gonna want to join your site or maybe he's gonna want to get involved with your website but you have to write a good review about him about his YouTube channel about the video itself, but you're 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 now having an a, a, an, a, an opportunity to reach out to industry leaders, and that's called uh, use, leveraging the influencer marketing channels. So I highly recommend that as well. And that's that. This is we're talking about some very powerful marketing for marketing tips in this moment. Yeah, and actually, it's it's super simple. Um, all you have to do is just leave them a comment. Just say, yeah. um, "Hey Zach, I loved your video." You know, my spelling is not good so much. Um, I've shared it on my website, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and now you've reached out to him and maybe you can build a better relationship with him. Have him join your site because he's obviously a pet professional. Um, so another way, to, another way to find members for your site also, as, as Pat just said, and, and uh, yeah. contributors. So what we've done is now we, the, main, the menu looks a lot better now. Pet care videos, pet care tips, that used to be website vlog. I see you have pet videos here. You had it there. No. Uh, oh, no, that was, that was what I added by accident. I think I did it twice. <laughs> Let me get rid of that. So, so now um, you have good content on your site. Let's click on it. You have more pages on your site. If you wanted to give it a more unique title, that's also good for search engine optimization. Um, like how to, how to train your puppy to stop biting you in, watch this, how many, in seven minutes. So actually, I'm going to, I want to go back and edit this uh, post. And I just want to show you how you can elaborate the, the title. Oops, that was add video. Let me do view video. There we go. So this is the video. I'm going to edit it. And uh, that, that's a nice captivating title in seven minutes. And this is where it goes. If you if you if you customize the the content around the video a little bit, it will start ranking in search engines like mm -hmm. Google. But it has to be a fresh paragraph that you're writing, not copying right. the, the description again is the fast food method copy what they've already written in their YouTube but if you really want to make this high value for yourself and make your effort your time worth it it's easy to come up with two paragraphs again compared to a 2000 art word article um, right. so so that is so that is now how we let me get rid of this pet videos thing here for you and we've instantly added more con uh, value to your website. And I think you have a plan of action for adding more to your website as well. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. 
All right, let me get rid of this pet videos. All right, you should be uh, good to go now. Let's go back to the home page. Yep, there we go. Um, what do you think about that picture? Do you think the dog's too big? Or? Um, I, I, I have, I, I, the picture's okay. It actually follows our best practices um, in terms of the type of picture you need to have. Um, the only issue I see is that the person that you're representing in the website isn't there, so it's hard to identify who the pet care professional is. Um, the one feedback I do have is that it appears as though you have two categories that are doing really well in terms of how many members you have, and the rest you have very few. So if you, if I select, Jason, can you go ahead and look at the top level oh, categories? Sure, sure. Let's select, um, let's select rescue. Okay. And let's put in um, Iowa. No, I don't no, have like, Iowa. <laughs> what, what, how many, how many cities do you have for rescue? Pretty much Miami and St. Pete, but mostly Miami. So let's go ahead and do St. Pete, St. Petersburg. Let's do a search for St. Petersburg. Florida, right? All right. Yeah. yeah. So this, this is her, or her home base. Oh, yeah. oh, you're using the Google search assist here. So, so even in St. Pete, there's nobody there, right? So imagine th th when you have all those categories that are available, when you make it possible for me to search for any category I want, and you also have your sub-level categories, but you only have a few members in the different yeah. categories, you're increasing the chances that I don't find any results. So my recommendation when you're getting started is just make it a location search to get started. Make it a nice simple tagline, like find amazing uh, animal care, uh, pet care professionals near you, and just make it a location search. I'm gonna understand how to use that as a website visitor. When you ask me what I need, and I don't even know what your website is about, I get confused. I don't know what to put. I don't know what I need because I don't know what the site is about. So if you made it only a location search, can you put in St. Petersburg just the location, Jason? We're just going to do just to see what happens here. So I'm a, I'm a new visitor to your site. I've never been here before. I put in my location. I'm like, oh, cool. I see. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I see. I can. Oh, there's members here. There's pet care professionals. Now I'm getting a positive user experience. I'm learning what your website's about, and I'll probably click on one of those profiles. I don't necessarily know yet that I need a groomer. I'm just yeah. discovering your site exists. So it's more important that I get a positive search result than I need to drill down a two or three tier cap category search until you have thousands of members that fulfill all the different categories in the different cities. Okay, I can switch that. What do you think about the ads? Do you think, I think there's too many ads on too many pages. Is there a way to kind of knock that down a little bit? Yeah, I think, I think on the, the ads are fine. I think on the search results here, maybe having these two next to each other, maybe get rid of this one here because that way the search will get moved up and yeah. that will, and that, and that's more useful for people. I guess that's why I'm confused, and I'm not sure how to get rid of certain oh, ones. So, so this is a sidebar here. I'll show you guys something cool here, and then we'll get to the next website after this. Okay, so, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. It's you know we're here to. I think the 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 key here was the content, but these are great tips. So I did show webs show uh, widgets, and that shows you also when there's a sidebar. It's in green. So this is the member search results sidebar. So what we'll do is we'll go to the toolbox and we'll go to sidebar manager and we're going to look for the member search results right here and we're going to edit that and we're, gonna, we're, we're, we're yeah we're going to remove the banner response so these are all the different things that are loading in your sidebar there uh, you got the responsive ad two times i'm going to remove the first one and i'll save the changes and if we refresh the page, I'll, I'll get rid of the, I'll do hide widgets, which will hide all the HTML widgets. Now, it's a little less aggressive with the ads. Um, at least there's a nice search here. And then, yeah, you do have this ad here. Um, you, could always, you could always move it also below the newsletter, just to space it out one more time, away from that header ad. And if we refresh again, so now you have a search, you have join our newsletter, and then you have an ad as you scroll further down the page. Yeah, that works. That's better. All right.
All right, Gail. Well, thank you very much for uh, sharing your site with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, um, good site there by Gail. Um, I say we'll do we'll do one more here, and then we'll move on with the, the regular um, webinar Wednesday. And Andy, I've unmuted your microphone. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing, Andy? Where are you calling in from? Calling in from Miami, Florida. Okay, we got a lot of Florida in the house today. Uh, so what's your site? Do you mind sharing it with us? It's uh, tropicalshops.com. I love that name. All right. Let I am, uh, I got to say, I'm brand new to your platform. And uh, having come from a the directory uh, background for about six years on multiple platforms that I have to admit, failed horribly. <laughs> I am very impressed so far with the way that your software is developed, built, and your support. Support. Thank you. Really appreciate that that feedback. Um, you know, we tr we try our best to stay as connected to the community uh, as as possible. So thank you for that. For those kind words. Um, so you got tropicalshops.com and. Is there a specific region that you're targeting for tropical shops? So the idea of this site was just born after our, our, our hurricanes that attacked us in Florida here. Um, I am a I am a online consultant, and I thought it would be a great idea to develop this directory site to help our friends and neighbors in the Florida Keys, in the islands, basically local businesses that were, were impacted by the the actual uh, by the actual hurricanes. So we we I've had this domain now for about nine years, and I decided to go ahead and uh, uh, have it to use. And so if I'm a I'm a consumer, I'm a visitor, I come to this site, I'm I'm going to want to look for services or retailers in a specific lo local area and a specific region. Right, right. At, at the beginning now, the focus is, of course, in the Florida Keys. Good. Um, I have a whole lot of lot of reach there in the, inside of the Keys. So. Okay. That's really good that you said that. Um, because if you were going to cover all the tropical islands around the world at one time, it would be really hard to hone in on a focus for your visitor. Um, and, and the fact that you're focusing on the Florida Keys adds, uh, adds more focus to the site, so, so it's easier to create it, find who the target audience is. So what I'm hearing in, your, in what you're telling me is actually this is not only for shops, but also it could be for activities and, and things to do. Yes, yes. That, is, that is correct. Okay, so this is almost like a travel resource guide, um, not just a directory of local shops and, and things like that, right? Okay. Okay. I would, um, and I'm going to have Pat chime in here as well, because this is now more of a resource, let's go back to Patrick's website. This is a site to learn how to go, go abroad and, and become a certified English teacher. And right. let's let's look at some of top ten reasons to visit the Florida Keys. Imagine you had an article that said that. Excellent a idea. Excellent activities idea. during your one week visit to the Florida Keys. Let's say the average vacation is one week. Like must do activities one week in the Florida Keys. Three benefits to taking the family to the Florida Keys. Um, how to navigate the Florida Keys like a pro. Um, the ultimate guide to Florida Keys dining, like you got to excuse the, my dog in the background here. The ultimate guides to dining in the Florida Keys, 10 must eat restaurants. Excellent idea. Uh, okay. So now it's not a directory. You're nailing it. You're becoming a travel resource for the Florida Keys. And in addition to that, what I mentioned in the beginning of the, the webinar is the directory becomes the second priority is, is the local businesses and things like that. And what you uh -huh. tell the local businesses is we've created this amazing resource that is attracting consumers 
and you should be in our, um, what is it called? It's called the Tropical Shops directory. Um, and we'll showcase your business and we'll recommend your business to our visitors and there's and then and then, then that's the directory part of it um, so you can write so, so, go ahead so let, 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 let me ask you Jason your opinion uh, in the past I've heard on a lot of people that have not a good positive uh, vibe with the word on their directory because there's so many directories so if I'm going to focus on the keys now and it's going to be a source of information and ha 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 have to know details, do I'm, you think that it, it should still be called a the directory? I like no? I like network. Um, I also ah. uh, yeah um, or preferred or you call your members like preferred shops. Um, so like your per, or a guide like preferred tropical shopping guide so you can use other words for directory that aren't directory um, and you can edify by the words you choose will automatically edify the people who are in your directory so you're this huge resource with all this information on the Florida Keys maps dining activities and then you have like a preferred shoppers guide right and the preferred shoppers guide is you know, recommended businesses in the Florida Keys and what they specialize in, and they can have a coupon if they mention your website. They can get five or ten percent off their shopping experience. Um, you know, if they mention your website and and so on and so forth. So um, you can call it something else besides a directory, and that's again good outside the box thinking. If directory is in some way not a very positive word for the people you're trying to get in talk, contact with. Those are excellent, excellent ideas. All right. So, and, uh, and I have yeah, I have one more tip, Jason, if you like. Again, in in line with um, with the, the with the previous advice that I gave, when, when I'm doing content for a website, I always like to think of two things. One, if I could somehow get credibility, and and Jason, I shared a link in the uh, in the chat for the for go to webinar. Everybody can access it. I like to take care of the content for credibility, but if I can leverage this somehow into giving me an opportunity to talk to businesses that I'd eventually like to have advertising on my particular website, then bonus for me, right? So that's something that's really worth taking the time. So I'm taking care of the content and I'm eventually going to be able to promote my site to these guys and build relationships. So Jason, you want to click on the link I shared in the go to webinar uh, that chat? The, is that the TripAdvisor link? Yeah. All right. Let me open that up here. So imagine, everybody can relate to this. So you have, here's a TripAdvisor, and I'm reading here on TripAdvisor in the Florida Keys that there's over 1,500 activities, almost over 2,000 activities on TripAdvisor. I'm gonna have to go through all these and try to figure out and plan out my trip. How amazing would it be if a local Florida Keys expert like yourself did the work for me, and they had a section on their website that said, the top 30 things to do in Florida Keys, handpicked by me, the, and you brand yourself. You're brand from Florida yourself. Keys. You make know, your, you make know your, Florida Keys. Yeah, that's a great idea. Right? And now Excellent. what you do is you, you leverage one of the features. So it could be events. It could be properties. It could be any feature. You rebrand it, top 30 activities. You, you, you just go to these, and you take their pictures, and you write your own descriptions and why you like it. And then what you do is you reach out to those companies and you let them know that they are in this year's edition. So that's the 2018 edition. <laughs> guess, what guess what happens in 2019? I love you it. get to sell that to businesses. So you tell them, if you want to be listed in my top 30 activities to do in Florida Keys in 2019, you sell them that spot in your review, and that's something that they can advertise on their website, and they have it for a year on your website. Now, that's high-level, high-leverage uh, content marketing. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't think I need to edit your site at all. I think these, these tips are enough, and um, branding yourself is a great idea. It, it could be Andy's top tropical shops, and you know, <laughs> I love it. Something well, like well, well, well. Like, like I said, th this is an idea that I was just born. That was just born a couple of weeks ago, only because of the hurricane. Our main business is it's called In South Florida, and if you follow our account on Twitter on, on In South Florida, you see that we have over a uh, uh, hundred thousand. 100,000 people here in our community. But listen, uh, since you're on this page, I had, a, I had a question for you. 
do you see the, that that coupon for the free gas fill? Yep. Okay, on that coupon, that, that, that actually belongs to one of our clients, and I had to add in that add Eve Delight SFL because I am very strong via Twitter. So if I use that share feature on tweet, it only shares the actual the title and it does not share the the users or the, the client's ID. So because I added it there, it is being shared. And each time that I do that tweet, it gets on the radar of our client. I like that. Good strategy. That's a really good strategy. So, so yeah. So so is there a way to edit in the code where when you click that button for tweet, it grabs the, the ID of that particular account or coupon or video? Um, yeah, you can, the tweet code, you can edit it. We, I think we covered this with Blair. Um, I think it was Blair um, in a previous webinar. Um, so it's, it is grabbing the title, but if you wanted to customize the actual preset title here, um, you yeah. can edit this, the, you can do the show widgets. You'll have to get into the HTML, but use, you can use variables. Um, so this is using the, the title of the article, um, and, and a little bit of your, your website here. But, um, I think with like, I'm not going to get into it too much here, but you can do data text share button. There are instructions on how you can customize the the text in a in a share button, okay. um, and you can and you can add variables that are important to you, like the member's Twitter handle and things like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you don't, so yeah, you don't and, have to type and, it into the title here. And I, I got to tell you, uh, this particular idea I had it a couple of years ago with an old company that I was with. Uh, they also have a product, a directory product. And the minute I told them the idea, they added it onto the, their, their software package, and everybody loved it. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. It's really that's really good information. You got it, buddy. All right. Well, just make sure you invite uh, Patrick and I next time when you need to test out the next uh, restaurants, Andy. And we really appreciate uh, <laughs> appreciate you sharing your your site with us. Thank you. That's so. Um, yeah, those those were really good ideas. I, I wasn't I wanted to share here um, since we talked about it a lot. That's the featured blog article slider add-on. Um, you can go to add-ons, and that's what you're seeing here. And that allows you to write blog articles and then choose the five specific articles you want to be featured in there. And you can see it has multiple purposes from Pat's site to the examples we used uh, for Andy about uh, how he can write quality articles uh, that would grab people's attention. Um, I'll share a link in the chat here, and then we can move on uh, to the webinar Wednesday. Before we do that, um, in the previous webinar, um, I did promise uh, something. Um, if you guys know, um, when you log into the members dashboard, uh, this is basically uh, what you see, uh, and it's worked fine for over nine years. You got the manage account, um, the, the members account details, and then you can choose to have a QR code here. Uh, but Patrick um, and uh, I think Blair also, I could be wrong <laughs> again, Blair's really um, active um, in the webinars. We are putting it through QA right now and there is going to be an add content module because really that is the most important thing you want your members to do when they log into their account is start contributing content. So this will be a membership level setting. You can choose to add it to the dashboard of the different membership levels. And basically what it's doing is, you know, you guys gave us feedback that a lot of people don't know to open these arrows to add a member article or add a classifieds. Um, so when they log into their dashboard, it's going to be super clear that of the different types of content that they can add. More importantly, when you're on mobile, and I'll switch to a mobile view, um, when your member logs in, the first thing they're going to see on their mobile device is to select what type of content they want to add, and then the other modules are right below there. So hopefully once this is released and active on your sites, uh, it should encourage members and prompt them to start publishing 
uh, more content on your website. So uh, this is going through uh, quality assurance right now to make it a membership level setting. So hopefully in about um, maybe less than two weeks, about a week or so, uh, this should be a membership, uh, uh, an option, and we'll announce it uh, hopefully in the next webinar that this is active. It's free for everyone. It'll just be a regular setting that you can activate. Wow, that's, uh, and, and Jason, I, I just want to let everybody know we really appreciate your comments. We do read them in the question panel, and, and people are, uh, seem to be really excited with this updates, and uh, we definitely, uh, it encourages us and motivates us when we hear that you guys are excited about a feature as much as we are. So so thanks for the feedback, guys, and, and yeah, we'll definitely be uh, looking to push that soon. All right, and those are all the updates I have for now, and we are going to turn it over uh, to you guys um, here, let me get back to the slides. Um, it looks like there is two, there are one more spot available for the 75% uh, off Happy Elbow. There were five orders. Uh, so if you guys want to just jump in and get something that you like, you can use Happy Elbow. Uh, there's about two more spots left, I think, and you'll be all good. So let's fast forward to the slides here and we'll start the Q&A discussions. Um, have your questions ready and you can go ahead and ask uh, your question for us. We got Jacques in the house. Jacques, Jacques, how you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good, good. Uh, where are you calling in from? North Carolina. All right. All right. And what's your question for us today? What I would like to get, guys, is to get um, more engagement on the site. And what you've done tonight has been absolutely fantastic to show us different tips. But one of the things that I'm finding that I really want is to have maybe like a slider or recommended articles either on the sidebar or underneath the articles that are on the article page. I'm with you. Um, I'm with you. So you do see related articles uh, on the sidebar or underneath the, uh, the page. Yeah. Because uh -huh. it creates more engagement. Somebody reads an article, and then they get, the, you know, there's, no, there's no, another no. article that catches their interest. You're absolutely correct. Um, I think on our own blog, Brilliant Directories, um, it wasn't a standard feature, but what we did is, if you let me see if we have it. If you go to the bottom, something like this where it shows. Yeah. So this is this was just something we cre again we just created for ourselves and, and what it's really doing is just showing randomized articles. So if you refresh the page, you'll get something different every time. Um, yeah. I'm with you on that. Maybe, maybe add that in as a, maybe as a, a, a feature related content because I know a lot of people are jumping off the articles when I'm checking the stats. And I know that if there was other articles on the site that, that caught their fancy, they'd go on there and it's creating more engagement and reducing bounce rates. It's much, much better for content. If you want to see on, uh, I know there's some customizations, but I did something on one of my directories that really tripled our, 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 our it, well, it lowered our bounce rate by almost 300% in terms of blog wow. articles. If you go on susmommy.com, Jason, real quick, you got go to any one of our articles. <laughs> SOS. Yeah, mm -hmm. SOS, M A M I dot com. Gotcha. Part in the language, everyone, but uh, nonetheless, just sharing ideas and things that help this definitely a customization. But, uh, but yeah, if, if, like you're saying, you want to keep people on your site, especially if you're doing a good job of producing quality content, um, this makes a really big difference. Yeah, um, on the holistic site, we've got loads of content. And but I just leaving, want to try and get more engagement. Yeah, I, I, I totally got, I, I experienced the exact same thing on some of our sites. Uh, we're doing a really good job. We're getting, uh, we're probably getting uh, 5,000 moms uh, reading this. So go ahead and read any one of those articles. And you can click on any, like that one right there. Sure. This, is a, this is a brilliant directory site. You're focusing on publishing blog articles, right? Yeah, so if you go to our Facebook page, you'll see we have an incredibly engaged community because we're doing good articles. So everybody look at the URL at the top, has the, the URL, the 240, right? So you're, you're on your phone, you're reading. So if you scroll down and you read to go to the end of the article, Jason, okay. what you guys will see is going to happen is it's going to automatically load the next article. So like Fox News is and CNN does this. Hold on, so people hold on. want to continue so we're, we're, digesting. Hold on, we're getting to the, this is getting to the end of the article here, right? 
Correct. Okay, so I'm going to slow, and I see a title coming up. Is this another article that's yeah. about to load? Exactly. So the, it's, yeah, it's it a, now it's a different URL. Now it just went to another article. Correct. So that's what this quite, does? That's sweet. Google, that's good. Yeah, I like that. So, so what Google does is Google now counts that as a non-bounce rate uh, and increases the quality score of your site. It keeps visitors on your website as well because they're continuing to digest your website. Uh, what I'm seeing the trend online is is they've taken it to another level. And I love what they're doing. And they're, that's why now when you read articles, you have the read more button. The reason why websites are doing that is they're collecting data on which content people want to read more of. And that's how they decide which content's on their homepage. So you can get pretty uh, advanced with these types of marketing techniques. But just thought I'd share this one with you as well. It's something that's working really well on, on one of our websites here. That's brilliant. I like how it. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how you do it? I, I couldn't. Hey, I couldn't. No and dangling a carrot and not getting as a taste of it. <laughs> um, no, there's. I mean, I went. To, I went to the. I went to the marketplace myself, um, and 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 had that designed. Uh, that was not something done by by any brilliant directory staff. But yeah, I, I do have lots of different directly directory websites. It's one of my favorite parts about working at Brilliant Directories is trying to apply some of these. All of them are usually focused within Latin America because I see a big opportunity there because there's not a lot of Spanish uh, language services um, and it's non-competing. But yeah, that's I go to the marketplace and I, I you can use that as an example and see what people would charge to build that kind of functionality. Uh, can, you, can you send a, a link in to, to, yeah. to your site so that we can I'll I'll send, do that? I'll send a link right now. And Jacques, uh, what's your website name? I think I can at least put some some randomized articles in the sidebar for you. Um, oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, what's your um, site Go to uh, holistic, holistictherapiesdirectory.com. Okay. Holistic. I got, a, I got a few websites for you guys. A few sites. All right, great, great. Give me one moment here. Um, let me see what I, can, what I can do. Just a moment. All right, let's go to your homepage. All right. And let's go to your... A blog section. Where's your blog section? It's called. It's either holistic life or holistic one on ones, don't know. Okay. Yep. Okay. So here's your blog. Um, I just snagged the code we made on the on the brilliant. It's not the prettiest code. It was just something. This could be something to look into. I'm going to create a widget for you. Um, awesome. And let me let's see if this works. New widget. I'm just going to call it uh, trending, trending news, maybe. It's all yeah, good. yeah, that's great. Yeah. And uh, I'll just put trending news here. And let me just make sure your your URL is blog. Okay. Let me just double check here. Um, we're getting the database from. This is all. This is, again, we we just Jimmy rigged this ourselves to show some. Um, articles. Let me just make sure it's correct. Where find? Okay, so this is what I wanted to change. The file name is like blog. All right. Let's save this. Now let's go to your sidebar. Let's pop this in the sidebar, and then we got to cross our fingers and see how it works. So we're going to awesome. sidebar manager, and we're going to edit. Uh, let's see what sidebar this is. All right, this is the post single sidebar. So let's go to the post single sidebar. Now you can create a, it's your own a new sidebar called blog article sidebar. So this is going to show on all your post sidebars right now, but you could create your own um, sidebar for your blog post and only show the related articles, um, the trending articles. Um, so here's the trending news. I, I'm, I'm happy if they're on, to be honest, if uh -huh. it doesn't matter what they're on, no matter who, if people see them and they're interested in them, okay. I want them to click and read and stay on the site. All right. Let's, uh, let's see now. Bam. So you got four trending there we go. articles here. Again, it's not pretty. Like all of them have dot, 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 even though they're not... That's for longer titles. It wasn't done in the most elegant code. I again, we did it quick. Um, but there you go. You have trending news now on the side of your, and all it's going to do is randomize 
articles. And what's great that's is on important. a cell phone, that's what's going to show at the end of the article. So as soon as they're done reading, they're going to, because on your sidebar, it's the first item. That should be the first thing that they see, uh, which will be awesome well, for, uh, for your yeah, end that's users. Good. So let's, let's have a, Jason's going to have a look here, and let's see if that's indeed the fact. And if not, there yeah, you go. See, so immediately. Perfect. I love it. So, yeah, the bottom. Yeah, that's awesome, trending. guys. Um. Yeah, so that's actually something for us to look into to, to do a little more formally. I can see how this would be valuable if you're looking at coupons, articles. Definitely valuable, yeah. All right. Um, and it could be for all It could be for all features. It could be for classifieds, for your coupons. One thing, uh, even the wording, um, people also searched for. People love that, even though it's not actually using any kind of data. It's just something that lets them know, hey, I searched for this coupon. Here's other coupons that people search for. Um, and then they're more likely to click on that and engage with that particular yeah, You, you see that a lot with Amazon. You see that a lot yeah. like with Amazon. You search for a, a, a mm -hmm. product and it says your related ones is brilliant. Like, like Jason said, just like the one we had with all the content, they, these, these ideas come from uh, feedback just like this, this one. And, and it's awesome because uh, everybody benefits. And, and it's also my Absolutely. favorite part about Webinar Wednesdays is us being able to apply these recommendations and giving you guys more tools to, to succeed in your own ventures. All right. Um, all right, Will, if you're good for now with this. That's, that's brilliant. That's exactly what I was looking for, guys. Thank you very much. All right. All right, Jock, thank you for your, for your question there and sharing your site with us. All right. Um, so we do have a contest of the week. Uh, if you want to share the color set that you've created for your site, uh, you can email design at brilliantdirectories.com. Uh, you can email a link um, to, uh, to us, and we'll choose the, uh, the winner next week. And next webinar is, Pat, it's in two weeks, correct? That's right. It is in two weeks. So we'll join you guys then. And um, I think we'll extend this to 10. We're, we're getting some people chatting in. Uh, we'll extend this for five more uh, orders. If you want to take advantage of the 75% off, uh, we'll extend it to five more orders. It, it has run out already. And uh, we'll, we'll join you in two weeks for the next uh, webinar Wednesday, guys. Thanks for joining in. All right, thanks, guys. See you guys in a couple of weeks.